If you want to learn how to create a World War II bombing scene in After Effects using the GeoLayers plugin, stay until the end of the video. Open a new project, set the duration to 10 seconds, and select the map template that you want to use. Position the map in the area of China and Japan because we will recreate the Japanese bombing of Beijing. Add a tint effect to your world map comp to get a black and white look for the map. On the world map comp, search type 1938 and you will get the map from 1938 that we added from GitHub. If you don't have the GitHub link added in your GeoLayers, I already have a video titled How to Add Historical Maps in GeoLayers. Now you need to search in the filter for the Empire of Japan and drag it to the model. Now you can select two areas of China from that period on the map and also drag them to the model. Next, we are adding flags for the Empire of Japan and China from 1938. For the Japan flag, parent it with the world map comp anchor, select 3D layer and put track mat to Empire of Japan. Do the same for China. Now we need a model of an aircraft, and for that I'm using the page cgtrader.com. Type aircraft and select free models. Also select GLTF models and choose one that you like and download it. I will leave a link in the description for the one that I'm using in the project. Now import it into the model. Right click and create a new composition. Now you need to scale it down and rotate it in the new composition so we can move it through our main composition. In the search bar, type Beijing and add a label. Next, we need to select the pen tool and draw the path where we want our plane to go. Add trim path. Click the stopwatch next to end and set it to zero at the beginning and 100 at the last frame. Easy ease them. Now you need to copy the path from the shape layer, 
click the stopwatch of the aircraft composition position and paste that path. Scale down the plane. Now you need to select the stopwatch of the rotation of the aircraft composition and modify the rotation through time as the plane is steering through the air. Now you can delete the shape layer. You can change modes to flags and set them to hard light. Change opacity to 50. Parent the aircraft composition with the world map comp anchor and select 3D layer. Finalize the project. Next, we are adding an explosion and that video you can find in the description. Add key light and select the green color from the model. Change color tolerance and edge thin until you are happy with the result. Position the explosion in time at the moment when the aircraft is above Beijing. Also, parent it with the world map comp anchor and select 3D layer. Now we can add clouds for a more realistic look. I already made a video on that topic and you can find it in the description. First, you're going to create a new solid. It should be white. Now with the pen tool, draw four shapes of clouds.
Link mask feathers from all masks with the first one. And set it to 60. Under the effects, type Turbulent Displace and add it to Clouds. Set amount to 100, size to 60, and complexity to 10. Parent it with the World Map Comp Anchor and select 3D layer. Set position Z to minus 3000. Create a new white solid layer. Add fractal noise effect and deselect that layer. Next, add texturize effect to the clouds layer and select the first layer and set source to effects and masks. Now for texture, change fractal type to cloudy and noise type to spline. Next, parent offset turbulence from the texture layer with offset turbulence on the clouds layer. And now you need to select the stopwatch next to offset turbulence. Go to the last frame and set it to 1050. And the last thing that you need to do is animate the map with keyframes. And there you have it. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about geo layers, feel free to ask me in the comments below.